YouTube. Today, I'm out here in the woods. Sometimes, preppers, uh, we get gear on the brain. I've said this in live stream just yesterday, I believe. Sometimes you don't realize the types of natural resources you have available to you. So sometimes, even when you do not have a lot of gear, you don't have a lot of ways to stay warm, there are ways around what do you see when you when you see this do you think well you're in the forest you're in the woods yes but there are vital resources here i got notes y'all okay first of all is wood uh it's a building material it's a natural building block people have been making log cabins for hundreds of years uh you can burn it and keep yourself warm um you know, multiple uses for wood. I could go on for three days. Uh, okay, leaves. Leaves and pine straw, which is what we have here in my area. Leaves and pine straw. Uh, yes, you can fill a trash bag and make a bed out of it, but leaves and pine straw, lots and lots of it, I'm talking about feet thick, have a good insulation property. You can use them for insulation. You can insulate uh, a hut with it or something if you had to. Uh, I've even seen uh, survival videos where people use leaves as bedding. Uh, they don't have a sleeping bag. You cover yourself up with leaves. It, it will work. Helps to maintain your body heat and it separates you from the ground as well. Grasses. Grasses have many uses. Uh, I think we've all seen something on National Geographic where they had the uh, the thatch roofs. You can use grasses for roofs. Uh, cordage. Grass, uh, you know, cordage. Uh, you make cordage out of certain grasses. Um, and just a plain out building material. Reeds are the same way. Uh, I've seen uh, reeds used to make roofs and that type of thing. Um, uh, okay, earth. Earth has an R value. It's not a very good one, but if you put enough earth around something, you can use earth to insulate. It has insulative properties, um, as well. And moss. Uh, I stepped over some moss a while ago to get here. Some right here in front of me. Uh, I didn't even have that on the list. I didn't see that till I walked out here. I'm like, yes, moss. I've seen people cut out patches of moss to make roofs with. Like, put a roof over your shelter with moss. It's semi-waterproof, but, you know, if you're in the desert, something like that could keep you out of, out of the blazing heat. Uh, bamboo, of course, I don't have any bamboo here, but uh, whatever you can find, just try to remember, it's not just leaves and, and sticks and wood. They can be used uh, to help your survivability. Um, Pinball Prepper was doing a, a gardening video. He was talking about how his soil has too much clay in it. Clay is made, clay is used for all sorts of things. You know, back in the old times, clay is used to make vessels, bowls, pots, plates. Uh, it's a standard building material. Uh, adobe, bricks, you build houses out of it. Uh, so yeah. I mean, all you theologians remember the story of Moses out there dancing the straw into the clay for bricks. So, uh, you know, uh, this is important to remember. We have, God has provided some natural resources here. Uh, make sure you, you open your eyes where you can see it, you know. Sand. Of course, I covered sand the other day when I was gathering some. But uh, sand can be used for building material. It, it's used in concrete. Uh, you can fill sandbags with it to strengthen an emplacement. Uh, water filtration. Uh, sanitation. You can clean dishes with it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, all these materials have very important uses. Uh, you know, and so don't be closed minded. Don't say, well, I'm going to die if I'm out here and I don't have nothing. There are things you can utilize here. You just have to uh, open up your mind to it and, uh, and understand there are things around you you can use to make debris shelters, debris huts, 
Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a blessed day. That covers my little list of natural resources. There are probably more because there's probably more things uh, in other regions that, that aren't here. So, um, you know, think about it. Use what you have sometimes. Joe said it the other day in a live stream, Joe Morgan. Uh, sometimes you just have to use what you have. If you're having to use sticks to make a shelter, use it. If you're having to use moss to make uh, little moss uh, shingles, then use it. Uh, use what the good Lord has provided here. Uh, hope you all have a blessed day. Remember Romans 12:21. Uh, it is a beautiful day here in Alabama. Sorry, I got sidetracked there. Uh, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. This is just something to keep in mind when you're outdoors. There are things around you that you can use. Uh, utilize it. We're going to go uh, ride the four-wheeler and have some fun and enjoy this warm day. Hope you have a blessed day. Uh, don't know when this will air, but it will be sometime this week or maybe this weekend. I might save it for that. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day. I've said that already. Video's over, Farmer Son. Legs hurting pretty bad today. Y'all have a blessed one.